Welcome to Time News. Today we will be discussing the latest developments in the longevity industry over the past week. In this episode, we will have a total of ten news pieces to share with you. First, let's get started with some diet interventions. In Nature Communications, researchers from the University of Southern California find that three cycles of fasting mimicking diet in adults were associated with reduced insulin resistance, improved pre-diabetes markers, lower hepatic fat, and a biological age decrease of ex- approximately 2.5 years, independent of weight loss. New research shows that feeding C. elegans a diet depleted of heavy isotopes produces lighter, faster-growing worms that age faster and have a shorter lifespan. This suggests a link between diet, weight, and aging, offering insights into modulating lifespan in this model organism for aging research, which is done by Swedish scientists. In cell metabolism, researchers from Columbia University uncovers that IgG accumulates in the adipose tissue during aging and is reduced by caloric restriction. IgG activates macrophages to induce adipose tissue fibrosis, preventing IgG accumulation in aging prolongs health span and lifespan. The next is about NAD plus level. Novel NAPT activator like compound C8 effectively boosted NAPT activity, promoting NAD plus biosynthesis. It exhibited significant anti-aging effects in vitro and in vivo, delaying aging in cells, extending lifespan in C. elegans, and mitigating age-related dysfunctions in mice, which is done by Second Military Medical University and published in Journal of Medical Chemistry. On probiotics, Chinese scientists found that LLY606 extends mouse lifespan, improves cognitive decline, and preserves intestinal barrier function in aging mice. Probiotic supplementation regulates gut bacteria dysbiosis and enhances pathways related to synaptic plasticity and neurotrophic factors, which is published in Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry. When it comes to skin aging, the study shows that UVB exposure induces skin aging in fibroblasts by reducing M6A RNA modification. By reducing M6A RNA modification levels through metal 14 downregulation, metal 14 overexpression protects against photoaging by regulating the MIR 103P ERRFI1 axis. These findings offer insights into potential interventions for UVB-induced skin aging, which is published in Aging Cell. Another study in Aging Cell reveals distinct roles of primary aging and chronic inflammation, physical activity, and human skeletal muscle. Age-related changes primarily associated with inactivity and inflammation, impacting mitochondrial function and immune response, which is done by Russia Academy of Sciences. As for HIV patients, PLWH exhibit accelerated biological aging in colon, ileum, and blood, associated with microbial dysbiosis and increased inflammation. Decreased tight junction protein in intestines correlates with microbial translocation, while higher levels of pro-inflammatory bacteria and lower levels of anti-inflammatory bacteria associated with faster aging, which is published in Microbiome and done by U.S. scientists. The last two pieces are on aging mechanism. The study uncovers a metabolic switch involving G3P and PETN accumulation, driving cellular senescence by promoting triglyceride accumulation. Targeting this pathway may offer a therapeutic approach for senescence-related conditions, which is done by the University of Paris SETI in Nature Metabolism. In cell death and disease, scientists review that certain genetic elements called ERV become active during cellular senescence, contributing to the maintenance of this stage. Their activation triggers an antiviral response, aiding in the regulation of growth arrest, a hallmark of senescence, which is done by Italian scientists. And that is all. Thank you for joining us on this week's Time News. We hope you found these updates informative and inspiring, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. We will see you in next week's broadcast, wishing you a happy and long life.